Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 106 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got five questions today, so let's start with Mne, and he says, What do you think of the recent 2024 LEGO Star Wars set rumors, and which ones are you going to buy? So I'm really bad about following rumors and all that stuff because even though I love LEGO Star Wars, I kind of just neglect to watch rumor videos and stuff. I kind of just wait until LEGO, like, announces sets, and then I'm like, yeah, I'll buy that because pretty much regardless of what they release I'm gonna buy it I mean I did buy all three of the mechs for some reason <gasps> So, like, I pretty much buy every single LEGO Star Wars set I can get my hands on. Two of the rumors that stand out to me that I remember from the most recent rumor list was the Mandalorian Season 3 Battle Pack. That sounds like a really cool battle pack just because I love those Imperial Armored Commandos. They are so gorgeous, so, like, to get them in LEGO is going to be really cool. And then the other rumor that stands out to me is the Captain Rex Y-Wing Microfighter. That just sounds super cool to me. But then also the fact that it's a Microfighter. Fighter. I'm really excited about that. I love micro fighters. Micro fighters are my second favorite thing from Lego Star Wars. Battle packs are my first favorite, and then micro fighters are my second favorite. I'm Cinnamon Bun. It was kind of hinted or rumored, really, more than anything, like the mechs and stuff were going to actually replace micro fighters. So the fact that they're still going to be making micro fighters is just a breath of fresh air to me because I love micro fighters and I don't want to see them go anywhere. So I'm really happy to see that they're going to stick around. A little bit longer and I think that's going to be great because then people can get their hands on a Captain Rex for a lot cheaper. But those are pretty much the only two that stand out to me. I already forgot pretty much all the rumors but I'm going to get probably every set available. I pretty much only steer away from the giant UCS sets like even though I love the Venator and I think that's beautiful I'm probably not going to buy it because one it's really expensive for me but two I wouldn't have anywhere to put it. Anyways our next question is from Plurpus ASA. What what random Star Wars character would you like to see made into a Lego minifigure? That's a fantastic question. My brain immediately goes to like stormtroopers and stuff because like you know me I love stormtroopers so I would love to see TK troopers or purge troopers or something like that but that's not really a fun answer so I'm like let's go with a more fun answer and I know that other people have said this so I'm not the first person to come up with this idea but a Lego Dexter would be super duper awesome ultra mega cool. They even acknowledged his existence in the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video game. If we got him, that would obviously mean that we would get a Dax Diner. And that would be so incredibly cool. You know, people have made mocks of it and everything. And I don't know why that doesn't exist. Like, I guess because you can't have like play features but I mean you could you could like pretend like you're cooking or something that'd be so fun I don't know why Lego won't do that that's my answer I think a Lego Dexter would be awesome because then we would get a Dax Diner and that needs to happen someday and I think a lot of people would love that myself included obviously next question is also from Plorpus ASA can you find Waldo I cannot I have always been terrible at finding Waldo so no I cannot pretty weenie next question is from CT Bricks ASA, do you prefer Star Wars movies or shows? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. That's another really good question because obviously I love the original trilogy and Rogue One. I also love the prequels, but I also love the shows like Andor and Star Wars The Clone Wars. So I think I'm going to have to go with shows though because shows can take their time and flesh out characters and just give them more stories and all that. Like take Anakin from The Clone Wars for an example. They gave him so much more development and everything than the movies did, giving you a better understanding as to why he started to kind of hate the Jedi Order and all that. I just, I absolutely love that. So I think I'm going to go with shows, but that's also just because I love Star Wars The Clone Wars. And our last question is from TG Collects. ASA, do you like winter or summer better? I'm going to go with winter because I'm like, I love the cold much more than the heat. I hate being hot, but I like being cold because I feel like it's easier to warm up than it is to cool down. Like, like if you're cold, just turn on the heater, put on a blanket, drink some hot chocolate, something like, oh, it's so nice being cozy versus like in the summer when you're hot, you're like, I can turn on a fan, but it's just going to blow hot air everywhere and bugs. I hate mosquitoes and mosquitoes love me though. And so I'm just like, I love the winter. Winter is better. And also, and I don't think anyone can argue this logic. 
Christmas! Christmas is amazing! Who doesn't love Christmas? And Christmas is in the winter. I guess unless you live in like Hawaii or Florida. For me, Christmas is in the winter, so I love Christmas. It's amazing. And so, yes, I love the cold. I love winter. I will pick winter any day over summer. Plus, I like snow, but where I live, it doesn't really snow, sadly. But sometimes it does, and when it does, it's really nice. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for your wonderful questions. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you have a question or two for the next episode, of ASA, leave it down below. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!